yeah so it just feels nice and i hope i'm crisp crisp as crisp and as clear as i can be because sound is everything all right pushing through resistance for the past two years i've been trying to paint going through a lot the longing to paint grew each day i felt somewhat lost finally as the new year approached i got the courage to hold a brush and paint again i had to overcome this invisible barrier stopping me from painting and in the night i got my canvas and started to paint i'm not sure if portraits seems to be a safe path to take maybe it's because i can see and emulate the image i'm painting i can't stop and ask myself if this is another safe route i'm taking but at least i'm painting making sure i fulfill the promises i made i decided to paint a very good friend of mine like any other painting the challenges kept surfacing Each painting with a unique problem and this piece was like no other it had different challenges I had to overcome be it the lips proportions or the colors the challenge felt somewhat good good and bad mix of both good in the sense that whenever I overcame them a flood of joy poured in I found myself singing smiling and at peace if this is what art makes me feel, why is it so hard to start? Before posting this video, I didn't know what to say. I could have made it into a tutorial, but it didn't feel right. After weeks of contemplating, writing different topics, I decided I would just post it with just background music playing. Creating is something, it's so challenging. But the moment I decided to let go of the expectations, that's when ideas came flooding. Of course, my head full of ideas. I should learn to act on them. As I thought deeper, I thought about my favorite stories. Why do I love them? I realized it was the vulnerability of the characters to speak their thoughts, to tell their stories. I'm not sure I'm good at telling stories, but I know I can tell a story. I've always shared my experiences with closed ones and friends. But for this one, it felt hard. I believe it felt hard because of the high expectation. The expectation to be good, entertaining or perfect. But I realized stories and life are not perfect. Stories have been told for centuries. It is what makes us connect. And I hope by me telling my story, even if it's reaches one person that it would resonate with you and that you won't be scared to tell your story. Stories can be told in different ways through art, music, comedy or writing. There's so many ways to tell your story. It is in the art of telling, of connecting in our own unique way that we grow. Thank you for listening and happy telling. Bye.